guys and happy Monday. I've just got my eye mask on. I've just completed the last order from yesterday and today. I feel accomplished and up to date. Um, I'm just waiting on Ozpost to um, pick them up. In total, there was 160. So that was from the weekend and then this morning, which is insane. So thank you guys so much. I saw some of you guys use the little code that I mentioned on my YouTube video last week which is cool um also i do still have some of those defected jewelry cases i think i've got about 15 left i think about 30 of you guys placed an order and left a note so just make sure if you want one just to leave a note with your order um and i will put one in for you so yeah that's pretty much what i've been doing this morning i've got pt this afternoon at 2 15 on mondays i go a little bit later for breakfast i just had my usual scrambled eggs every night and avocado on toast i'm gonna go get ready i also received my shipment for this friday's launch it's a shame that you won't be seeing this until monday so it would have already launched but you'll see it on my instagram anyway new arrivals and a restock of some of your favorite items so we're restocking the amour ring only in silver though so the gold's coming um the wing necklace which was from the very first oh no was that from the very first launch i can't even remember it's been ages restock of them plenty of angel wing necklaces you guys will see on the instagram as well i am also wearing some of our new arrivals how cute is this threader i'm obsessed this is our 9k paris threader i can't wait to take photos of these these will be on the website as well these emerald 14k huggies still obsessed with my conch piercing like what do you mean and then these will be new as well. These are our, I haven't actually named them, but like they're like croissant hoops. I love them so much. We will also be having the diamond ball back and clip back studs. Not this small though. These will definitely be put in production. These ones are like half the size of the ones that I already ordered, which I was wearing for months like i was obsessed and i was like can we go smaller because i'm kind of obsessed so they will be coming soon but there will also be um diamond clip backs and ball backs in the launch these are all old aphrodite huggy and then on this side i got the dome hoops the croissant dome hoops this is our 25 mil sleeper i love it because i sometimes wear it in the helix what's this one is that one of my sapphire huggies and then how cute are these little paris drop earrings i'm obsessed with these so these will also be available um on friday as well i really hope that they were focused <laughs> so you can see but i'm sure um you'll see photos on the gram so yeah i've got pt today i need to clean the house so yeah i'm feeling really accomplished already today i'm excited to go to the gym i need to go to the post office as well and just rearrange my makeup room because i've started to just like put shit on the floor and just like not do anything with it until it piles up which is now so i need to attend that before it gets out of hand and i will update you guys later this is all the orders from the weekend i think i was supposed to here actually yep Okay, here's our quick little grocery haul. We got HelloFresh yesterday, so we've got most stuff. Got some more bread, avocados, white grapes, because I felt like them. Peter's kangaroo sausages. Someone commented saying, oh my God, you eat kangaroo over there? I think she was from America. It's not really that common, but I guess like, I guess I some- I like calories, and what do you want? <laughs> But like it's kangaroo, it doesn't that look off that it's a kangaroo? <laughs> Barramundi, eggs, chicken. We also got obviously some stuff for the washing machine. Why are these so expensive? Side note, we go to Big W for these, but like they're just so expensive, like 17 bucks. And I think that one was like 20 or something on sale, like still really expensive. Favorite ice cream, got some more of these. Um, I felt like corn for some reason. I make the TikTok pasta and this apple looked really fucking good so i bought it oh and this because my pt Haley loves it i'm not sure if i'm like a cranberry fan but there's only 10 cows per serving of this so i'll give it a go give it a whirl but yeah that's our little boring <laughs> shop
made the TikTok pasta for dinner. Didn't have fresh garlic, so this is gonna have to do. Although, I am gonna use my basil. So that's just two punnets of cherry tomatoes, a block of feta, and then you just mash it up. Oh my God. <laughs> Yum. And here's my fresh basil. Then I just added the chicken breast. Stir that in. And then all I need to do is add my pasta. And I'm using, I actually threw it away, this one from Low Carb Emporium. I use two packets and that'll give me like four or so meals over the next couple of days. Good morning, everyone. This is my skin without any makeup on. I feel like when those two pimples vanish, I'll be happy with my skin because everything else, like my scarring's going down and I'm not doing anything to it. It's just, I got two massive pimples the past couple of days. Not sure why, but I was gonna put makeup on before I filmed because I was like, that's a bit gross. But I mean, you've seen me at my worst, so. What's two pimples gonna do? Anyways, just thought I'd give you a face update. Um, I can't really tell you how the DMK products are going because I've only really trialed them for about two weeks and you can't really notice difference, I guess, in new skincare after about four weeks of use. So um, yeah, I'm still using the products that were prescribed and yeah, so far so good, apart from these two people on my face. I just made breakfast. I forgot I didn't have avocado. So I'm only having every might sandwich thins and scrambled eggs and then my little coffee. I'm up early. Um, I think it's around 6.30 or 7. I don't even know what time it is, but Peter had to get up early because he's working today. Um, but yeah, I have so much to do today. So I'm going to write down all of the things that I need to do because that's how I am productive. I write it down on my little to-do list slash planner. And then as I do each task, I tick it off. I'm gonna do that now while I eat breakfast and then get changed and head to Pilates. I'm going to Pilates this morning. It's honestly amazing what a little bit of concealer can do to your face. I'm just about to pack last night's orders. I'll go drop them off at the post office after my Pilates session. I also packed some PR packages um yesterday or last night for some influencers um i've got one more to pack actually i've got i think i've got five or six so i'm gonna go do that now real quick then i'm gonna chuck a top on because i currently just have my little sleeping sports bra these are really comfortable by the way they're just bonds i love them um and then head to pilates Okay, so I got a request from Daisy to pack her order in my vlog. To be honest, I actually get like one in 10, I would say orders I get. The notes say, please pack my vlog. If that was the case and I packed all of your orders in the vlog, my whole vlog would be me packing your orders. So I'm so sorry. I might pick one a week to feature in the vlog. So this order is from Daisy from UK. Every time I get an order from overseas, it just like, it's so crazy to me that like people watch me and follow me from like not from Australia just because the majority of my audience is Australian obviously because I'm Australian but um whenever I see someone from like the UK or the US um, I just like get excited because that's so cool so yeah Daisy is from the UK and she got the everyday necklace and the Amour charm good pick that's one of my favorite combos so I'm gonna go and get it and pack it up this is seriously the prettiest combo Chuck in one of these for her for free. I'll put in one of these. This is the necklace that she got. So, so pretty. And then I'll chuck the care guide in. Like that. Chuck that in peanuts and I'm gonna write her a little note and then I just stuck all of my DHL packages in like the DHL slip 
Officer. I don't get it confused with Ozpost International because I do like offer like Standard and Express. And I just keep this on the floor and it just like reminds me that I need to book a pickup for DHL. So then I just put her label on like so and that's it. Thank you so much, Daisy, for your order. And yeah, I'm gonna go book your pickup now because otherwise they won't come until tomorrow. <laughs> I've got my smoothie that I just made. I need to put all that stuff away. Oh my god. How cute is that? <laughs> oh, new primers. Angel Veil. We've got a pore filler. Marshmallow primer. Oh, they're all primers. And then a marshmallow blender. That's so cool. I'm so excited to try. Thank you. So we have here. I love the minimal packaging. I'm really not sure if the lighting is the best, but thank you so much, Rimmel. And then a new um, mascara. Ooh, I think this is makeup or lashes from Ivy Rain. He's done my makeup before, actually. So good. Oh my god, how cute is this? I love the packaging. Oh my god, I think these are lashes. Ooh, thank you so much. The packaging is so epic. Ooh, they're cool. I got this last week, um, but I didn't show it on the vlog. I got some Laneige skincare. If anyone's tried this, let me know. Probably not gonna try it anytime soon just because I'm obviously trialing out my current skincare products, but We've got a water sleeping mask, <laughs> some cookies. But yeah, I've never tried Laneige. Is that how you say it? Laneige skincare before, but thank you so much, guys. And then one of my gorgeous followers sent me some bikinis from her brand. But the thing is, I misplaced the tag. Oh, here we go. Sass Mark Swim. I misplaced the letter, but I did read it. Um, basically, she's a follower of mine that reached out and wanted to send me some swimwear. So that is so freaking cute. I love me a leopard bikini. Love that. And this one's a one piece. Oh, thank you so much. This looks so lovely in the background. I'm very sorry. Holy dooly. I got a bunch of makeup from XX Revolution. Again, a makeup brand that I've never tried before. Pretty much everything from their collection, to be honest. So, yeah. Soft touch primer. What do we have here? Eyeshadow palette. So, that one is from Glam Raider. So, thank you so much. I'll have to go through that a bit later. Stax's Lux line is coming back. Bougie packaging. All right. So, what do we have? I don't think I actually have this black one. So we've got the black sports bra. Do they send me a medium? Sports bra. And then I think this is one of their tanks. Yes, yeah, so this is like a long, long tank. Cute. And then I think these are either bike pants or tights. Cute. These launch Friday, 26th of March at 9 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So thank you so much for the little top up. I love keeping these for like traveling, like putting in my like dirty clothes or like undies and stuff. <laughs> A bit TMI, but they're actually like really um, handy for traveling these bags. Oh, this one's from Jouer. I actually love this brand, this makeup brand. It's so freaking nice. Oh my God, how cute is that? Little foundation samples. So we've got a, a primer, matte primer, moisture primer, and then essential foundation. I've never tried their foundation before. Oh my God, how luxe. 
Hyaluronic acid matte and oil free. I'm going to definitely try that. Thank you so much. That's so nice. Okay, and last but not least, this one came as a shock. I actually thought this was like a jazz handmade return. And I was like, the hell? Because it had Sony on the back. And they've sent me literally the camera that I am using right now. But they've made it in white. So this is the camera that I have right now that I switched over from the Canon 6... What? No. Canon 37X or something like that. G7X. So that was my old vlogging camera and I love this one so much. I've finally gotten used to the flip out screen because it flips out on the right. Oh my God, that's so nice. <gasps> Stop it. Am I using this? Oh my God, that is actually, oh my God, no, the little like wind thing. <gasps> I have to, I have to convert. I have to use this one. Yay, now I have another spare battery. They've also sent me, which is what I also have, one of these. It's so handy for vlogging. I might actually keep that and possibly put it in a giveaway or something. But yeah, that's literally this. It's so good. So thank you so much, Sony. I honestly was not expecting that at all. That's amazing. So yeah, this is called the Sony uh, vlogging camera. Yeah, I'm going to do a few Instagram stories for those products. I'm going to finish my smoothie. I might have a quick shower because I feel a bit sweaty. Get changed into comfy clothes and I need to rearrange my like warehouse room for the launch and I also still need to take a few more photos. I took majority of them yesterday. I should have filmed like a BTS, but I just like wanted to smash them out. I'll show you my little setup. It's actually so cute. That chair came in very good use yesterday. One thing I do love about this camera is it has like a um, soft face filter that you can turn it on and off. I have it off, but I'll literally turn it on. Um, it just makes you look airbrush i feel like it like for vlogging and like everyday life it's a bit fake um but i guess if you were like filming a beauty video or like something like i don't know i see why people would want to use it and i know of some vloggers that do use it like it's just so obvious um so this is without so like you can still see my breakouts and stuff and then i'm going to turn on the um the full skin effect one sec Okay, now I have it on. I actually did have it on, but it was on low. So you can do low, medium, and high. I must have just like set it on that when I was playing around. This is on high. Like, look at my skin. I literally look like porcelain with it on. You can still see like my breakouts underneath my skin, but like my actual skin just looks airbrushed. I don't know if you guys can really tell a difference, but this is on the high setting. Okay, this is on off. I didn't even realize I had it on mid. Okay, this is off, absolutely no filter. Don't mind the mess. So this is nothing on, and then I'll put it on high, one sec. Okay, now it's on high. I feel like my face just goes blurry. You know, like it feels, like, I feel weird. Like, I feel like I look better without it on. But I guess, like, when you're filming makeup videos and stuff and you want the foundation to look flawless, I kind of get it. But, oh, did you see that? It just, like, moved. So if you go out of frame... <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn it off now. So, yeah, that's a setting that the Sony has that the Canon doesn't, which is, I guess, like, some people would like it. I personally, for, like, vlogging and stuff, I don't feel the need in it. But yeah, I'm going to go turn it off now. This is off. I think I like it. Like, I honestly think it's more flattering with it off. Okay, I'm going to go put this stuff away. This is my little setup that I was using yesterday for product shots. So cute. So I laid out all like the new arrivals. This is just some of them. So this isn't all of them. How cute is that anklet? So we're going to have a thin and a thick version. I've been wearing the thin ever since I got it. 
Um, and then we're gonna have these cute like croissant hoops, which I showed you guys in the car. New charms, the dove and the moon by, I'm obsessed. Um, yeah, that's the thicker anklet. And then the, I haven't named this one yet, but this is the new, um, it's like the matching necklace. So yeah, love. Also, that was from Amazon. That is a Jaquemus book. And then these are from Kmart. That I bought from a girl. I'm trying to think of the name of the brand. I just bought it via her Instagram page. I'll try and find it. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can find these online like if you Google ceramic trinket. Um, but yeah, and then obviously the huggy chair is, I think it's interior secrets or something like that. But I will try and find the link to where you can get it from if you're interested um, down below. I've just sorted out all of the star sign. These are all the 9K ones. I just realized it might be a little bit hard to like see what they are. Oh, see, I've like already um, messed that one up. I'm gonna have to go through them again. Um, I have these for all of my like 9K pieces. So I think I might have to just grab a couple more from Bunnings. I got them from Bunnings, they're really good for um organizing like jewelry and stuff so i think i might it just might be so much easier if i put like them on the top like all the names and then you can just see right through them rather than that because that looks a bit messy i think i'm gonna have to go into bunnings and grab a couple of these because they're actually so handy i never get confused because everything's in their homes by the way we've got so many um white gold um earrings for the conch like these are perfect the eight mil is what i've got in you probably can't even see it that well but we've got heaps of white gold it's definitely not as popular as yellow gold but i still wanted to have that option this is where all our huggies live nice and organized and then up here is like cuffs and studs arms which i've got all labeled I just added them. They're all our 14K. I can't wait to get like really nice storage. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I just got up super early, but I had to pack some orders. Business life. Um, I'm just about to make a pre-workout because I'm going to the gym. Actually, I might not have it until... Actually, you know what? I'll have it now and then I'll go do steps at the gym if I am early. Um, this is the pre-workout that I take. It's just a bitch to open. That's the only thing I don't like about it. I should probably like deposit it in one of my jars so it's easier, but like also eco-friendly packaging, like it's all cardboard. So can't complain there. This is the one that I love. It's from Naked Harvest. You can get Naked Harvest now on Elite Sucks. Um, yeah, you can buy their whole range. And I also got DMs and comments on my last YouTube video when I mentioned the magnesium drink that I take to help me get to sleep. That's also Naked Harvest. It's called Moon Milk. It's got magnesium in it. Um, it's like a watered down hot chocolate. Like don't expect this like Cadbury hot chocolate. It's kind of like, it does taste like a healthy hot chocolate, but I do like it. Um, just one teaspoon in with some water. I haven't tried it with almond milk yet. 39 calories per serve. But yeah, it's like a magnesium rich and zinc. It's got magnesium and zinc in it. So it like helps relax you and your muscles before bed. Um, so yeah, I I've been taking that like most nights or whenever I can remember or I feel like a hot chalky. Um, yeah, moon milk also from Elite Sup. So I usually for a serving have like one heaped teaspoon. And I mix it in. This one's called Sweet Strawberry. I also like the grape one as well, but this one is like a mix of a fat burner and a pre-workout. So if I had to choose, that one's probably my fave. And it tastes nice. It literally just tastes like what the flavor is called, Sweet Strawberry. As for like tingles, you do get them. So 
it's not like a uncomfortable ant tingle around your body but like you can feel it like i don't know like it makes me feel pumped for weights like i i now can't <laughs> go to pt without it because it just makes me feel like in the zone and like I don't know, it just like amps you up. This is probably like three quarters of a serving. You're meant to have like three level teaspoons. Whenever I have close to that amount, that's when I can feel my body like tingling. But I just have like one heaped teaspoon and I feel like that's enough for me, so. I also did my skincare. Look at my skin, by the way. It's so glowy. Um, I have been using that new Esme product, the it's like an eye balm. It's so freaking nice. It kind of just feels like I'm putting a lip balm underneath my eyes. When I first tried it though, I've been using it for like a few, maybe like a week now. When I first tried it like a week ago, um, cause it's like purple. It had like a purple tinge when I first put it on. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why is my under eyes purple? But then it kind of like blends into your skin. Just keeps like your under eye, like looking nice and like hydrated. Yeah. Thought I would give you an update on my skin. Still got breakouts around here. These are kind of going away. I do have my naturopath appointment tomorrow, which I'm super excited for. So I'll definitely keep you in the loop with that. Um, and yeah, I might even give my new camera a whirl. We'll see. But that's all I have to update you guys on. I need to post some stuff for Jazz Handmade, like on Instagram. Just share some photos of the products and yeah. I'll catch up with you guys when I get home. You're gonna honestly piss yourself when you see me taking photos. This is literally how I take my content for Instagram. This I find has been the best lighting. I got a mirror, I get my phone. Yes, I use my phone because it's literally bomb. I put it on like a bit of a zoom and then I just line up my ear, like fix my ear. See what I need to fix, and then, oh, that's a good one. Boom. Like, just from that, I'll show you guys what I just captured. Pretty good, right? Like, it's so easy. Like, that was a good run because everything was in position. Usually I've got to like fiddle around and make sure all the charms are facing the correct way. I might actually change that earring one second. Okay, I've got it all in line. I can't move my... Damn it, it's flipped around. Come on. I need to flip it. They're made to like dangle, so you... it's just so hard with these ones in particular. Come on. Oh my God, they're both facing the front. Oh, one's flipped. You little bitch. I feel like I couldn't breathe just then. Okay, that was kind of cute. Stay like that. Even the dub is doing well. Go girl. Oh yeah, I've got the shot. See ya. Amazing. By the way, how cool are these ear threaders? Like you can wear them so many different ways. Like I've literally just threaded it through my third hole into my second. Or you can just have them dangle from one lobe. These ones are also so cute too. Um, I'm about to go take photos of this, but yeah, that's what I was trying to get them to face the front <laughs> for the pink. Okay, let's see how I go. Okay, I literally hate my feet and I have to take anklet picks and I'm struggling so much. Like... <laughs> I make myself look like I've got cankles from certain angles. It's just like, oh, I did one really good. No. Like, it's just wrong. Why does it look like I've got a cankle? This is honestly the weirdest thing I've ever done. Surely. Actually, 
I'm gonna put on the thicker one because we've got like a thicker version and a thinner version. I'll show you guys on camera in a sec. But I've literally worn my like sample since I got it like two months ago, like eight weeks ago. That's the necklace. Um, and it is amazing and it's all just in vermeil, so it's not even solid gold and I wear it like in the shower and everywhere. I don't take it off and it's amazing. Okay, this is what I'm working with. <laughs> My crusty heel. So yeah, these are the two um, anklets. That's the one that I've been wearing literally like every single day. Um, and then this is the newer, thicker one, just for like a bold sort of statement. See, like, why does that look good there? But then when I go to take a photo, my f I literally look like I've got cankles. <laughs> Anyways, they will be dropping on Friday. I'm obsessed. I just made this little chicken rice bowl with capsicum, cucumber, tomato, spinach, and broccolini for lunch. And then I put this sauce on top. How good does that look? So I just got around to trying on those Freddie jeans that I got gifted to me last week. What do you mean? I'm wearing the blue ones. What? They're so comfy. Like, I can't even explain to you. They're like, a, they're obviously a jean material, but they're so stretchy. Can you see that? That's the back. Like it actually, <laughs> it does make your bum look way better. And the front, so there's no um buttons, but there's a zip, which I think is way, way better. Like it feels really secure. I love that they're high-waisted. I did end up getting the seven, eight, and they go just above my ankle, which is what I prefer. I love that in jeans, but like, they're literally the perfect fit. I ended up asking for a 10 slash medium. I wouldn't usually reach for skinny jeans. Like what I've been wearing lately is more like boyfriend style jeans, ripped jeans, anything like baggy and loose. But to be honest, I don't really find myself wearing boyfriend jeans in winter. And it's obviously getting colder here in Australia. My go-to with skinny jeans is like boots, a cute knit, a jumper. You know how sometimes like you wear jeans and then you get home and you can't wait to take these off? Like they feel like... I'm like just wearing tights. I just can't get over it. I'll try on the black pair. Okay, this is the black. I did just rip off the tag. I might just like show it here in case you want a screenshot. But I think I did get both in the same style. Um, so, yeah, so these are the black. Again, the back, they've got their little logo here, which is quite subtle. I love them. Like, what? How like flattering are they? I actually can't get over it. Look at my bum. I've got a bum. They also emailed me and said that they set up a discount code. So I'll leave that on the screen. I'm pretty sure it's for 10% off. Um, and I'll leave the links in the description box down below. But I will be living in these in winter for sure. Good morning, everyone. I'm just off to my naturopath appointment. I think I put too much of that, um, those tanning drops on my face. The drunk elephant ones. <laughs> oh well. Um, yeah, I don't know where it is though, so I'm gonna have to. Let me just post that on Insta. Um, I've got it in my notes. Um, yeah, I'll leave the name of it down below. That's if I recommend it, I guess. But um, yeah, I'm excited. So let's go. I'll keep you updated. Hey guys, so I just finished my naturopath appointment. Oh my God, the lady that I went to was so lovely. We got along so well. Her name was Chelsea and I will leave it on the screen actually like where I am. I'm in City Beach. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that though, but oh my God, she's so nice, so helpful. Um, but yeah, we pretty much just went through everything, like absolutely everything from how often I poo and what I eat and like my period cycle, my moods and everything. So um, she did recommend for me to get a blood test, which I booked in to, sorry, the lighting is not the best. Oh, that's a bit better, me sitting back. Um, a blood test to um, see what my hormones are like. And yeah, I'm gonna go on Tuesday actually. So I've got to be fasted for that. Um, and she also did give me some 
tablets to take. So she recommended zinc, zinc tablets. A, these are fish oils, I think. Omega E's concentrated fish oil. And this lymphotox. I'm going to have to read into it. So, yeah, she just prescribed them to me to start off with. Um, take one tablet twice daily with food. So excited to start seeing changes in my body. Um, she also did give me really good tips to unwind because I'm on my phone and laptop literally probably for over 12 hours a day. I'm not even joking. Um, so she gave me a little tip, um, which I have used before, but she did de definitely recommend like the black setting on your phone and to turn on the, is it like true tone or blue light? Like you turn it off. I can't remember what it's called, but she definitely recommended that at night, like to start from like 5 PM to like whenever I wake up. She also recommended to do the um, the night shift. So basically your phone goes like a warmer color and like blocks out blue light. She said it definitely helps with sleep and just like overall mood and like energy throughout the day. Um, Cause I do sometimes feel like my eyes get strained like around lunchtime, like two or three o'clock because I'm that's all I'm doing. I'm just looking at a freaking screen all the time so she definitely recommends that and just to keep the brightness on like a level that you can just see the screen because really bright lights can affect that as well so yeah I changed that I I was on dark mode for ages and I can't remember why I changed it but I didn't change it for that reason I just thought it was cool but she said yeah definitely recommend dark tone on your phone and to turn on the um what I just mentioned what's it called um, where is it? Display and brightness. You, so it's just in your phone. You go uh, display and brightness and then you can like schedule it. So yeah, I did from 6 p.m. to 7 a.m., which is generally when I wake up. Um, and the color temperature is on the most warm. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go do and I'm going to see if that actually helps and I'll keep you guys updated. But yeah, I'm excited to see some differences in my skin and yeah start um, using the products that she recommended so I'm gonna go home now I still need to take some photos sorry the lighting is like <laughs> it's from my is it better nope. um, yeah I'm, I need to still take some photos for the website and yeah I should have been at a lust event today actually but the timing was just wrong because literally mum comes in a few days I've got a delivery even though like that doesn't really matter but like um I don't know if Peter would be working or not and I'm also dropping my collection on Friday which which is tomorrow and that wouldn't have worked so unfortunately I was unable to attend but basically lust is rebranding so that's super cool um yeah I can't wait to see their products so yeah I'm gonna be on my way home now and yeah I just thought I'd give you guys an update hey guys I just got home I'm on my new camera well, it's not new. Well, it is new, but it's just the white Sony. I can't really notice difference because it's the exact same camera. But anyways, um, I'm just about to make a protein shake. I don't really feel like making lunch. So I'm just going to have my protein smoothie that I've been having pretty much daily. I also did get a few things this morning from companies. So I thought I would show you guys that. I'm going to have some of my new tablets that were prescribed to me. Well, not prescribed, recommended. Um, so I'll have that because I think you have to have them with food. Um, or it's, is it this one? Yes. Best taken with food. Might go to Reforma this afternoon because I didn't go this morning. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have new for you guys. <laughs> Okay, here's one of the packages. I just made my protein smoothie that I got in my PO box. How cute this small business makes these like bubble candles, which I was actually going to order. I was trying to find um, a company that made it. So I'm happy to support small businesses. Super cute. So that's the brand. Let me open them up. Look at how cute they are. This one got a little bit damaged, but I kind of like fixed it myself. <laughs> how cute i actually got another one in the mail this morning from another company that i bought from i think it was called acute candles i'll show you that in a minute but i've always wanted one of these I'll show you guys the other candle that i got this one but i think i'm gonna put it 
in the hallway, like on the hallway table. I don't know where I'm going to put this one now. I think when I put my book back, I might get rid of these ones and put that one there. But how freaking cute. I'm so obsessed with like nice looking candles. I even ordered some more candles, but I'll show you guys that when they come. But yeah, this one is the one that I got this morning. That's the brand. It kind of feels a little bit more firmer than like a normal candle, but I'm not gonna burn them anyway. So they're just for display. But yeah, that's what I got. And then this next package is from, is it Q? Is that how it's pronounced? I don't know, but I am so excited for this. They reached out to me oop, <laughs> and wanted to send me their LED mask. So I actually do have the Peppy & Co one, which I do love, but the one thing I don't like about the Peppy one is that you can't like go on your phone. I know that sounds so bad, but you can't do stuff with the mask on because it covers your complete face. So you literally just have to sit there for 10 minutes and do absolutely nothing. Even though that's probably good for you, but this one actually has like um, holes at the eyes and then the nose and the mouth. That looks so scary. It's kind of like silicon on the inside. And then I think in here, this is so cool, like the packaging. Um, I think you get a little case for it. And then in here is the strap that you can put around it. But LED, if you guys don't already know, is so, so good for your skin. Um, I was actually recommended to do it when I go, or every time I go to like my skin treatments, I always get put under the LED light for like 20 or so minutes and they, highly recommend if I have one at home to do it at home. Um, so yeah, this is a little charger I'm guessing and then the strap. So when that first company did reach out to me to do like a sponsored post for them, that was probably like a year, over a year ago. Um, I was really skeptical cause I was like, how the fuck can like lights on your face really like change your skin and improve your skin and be good for your skin? Cause like, you'd think well, how? but it actually like penetrates deeper into the skin. And it wasn't until I started going and getting like regular like facials and stuff like that. I really need to like blot my face, it's so oily. Um, that they were, they rave about LED light therapy, like absolutely rave about it. Um, so I just opened the thing, by the way, this is not sponsored by the way. I just like personally do use LED light therapy. I wouldn't say I use it every night. I probably use it twice a week when I can remember. To be honest, I actually haven't used it this week, but yeah, I'll definitely give that one a go. So there's apparently two settings on this one, one for anti-aging and one for anti-breakout. I will be using both. Um, typically you can receive results within two weeks. Um, okay, and then it's just like some information. I don't know if I have a discount code or anything. I don't think the email included one, but um, I could ask for one if you guys are interested, but I'm obviously gonna try it first. Yeah, I've always wanted one of those masks with the um, eye holes. Cool. I'm gonna charge it, read up a little bit more about it, and I will keep you guys updated if you want me to. Good morning, guys. Happy launch day. I think I put too much tan on. My legs are so dark, I've had to wear tights. Like I'd feel embarrassed if I wore bike pants. <laughs> this is the Bali body tan. You can't really, I feel like it doesn't show up as how dark it actually is because of the lighting in the house and everything. But yeah, I am very dark, but I'm also not complaining because I like a deep dark tan. Pretty much got the website like up and ready to go. All I need to do is um press live basically i'm doing a bit different this time i don't know if i'll lock the website just because um i've like drafted all the products so i can just like literally like select all and make them active and they'll just pop up whenever it's live um but the downside about that is i can't see what they would look like on the website which i don't know if that's really a big deal like i can already see like what they look like but yeah i can't actually preview it on the website which is pretty stupid to be honest um unless there's a way but yeah i'm just having my pre-workout and then heading to the gym because i've got pt at nine but i need to pack some orders right now actually
Oh my god, I am dead. I just finished my work. I got Haley to film some. Fuck me dead. It's hot. I need to go drop off the parcels to the post office and then I need to go prepare for this launch. Thank you so much. Thank you. Literally hate doing the dishes, getting all that food that gets stuck in that thing. Ugh, so gross. Um, I'm gonna open a parcel that I would have picked up. Oh, also, I got some new candles. Um, you know how on Instagram I asked if you guys had any recommendations of Australian companies to support that do those like wiggly candles yeah i will i'll show you guys the candles i just thought they would be a bit bigger um i don't know i didn't really look at the measurements of the candles but um i will i do want bigger ones so i'm gonna still try and find some that are bigger but like they're still cute and they were relatively like good like the price was good for them i think they were like 12 or 15 dollars each i'll show you guys them um, after so this is a PR package from Breeze Balm. I'm actually so excited to try this. I might even like put some on now because I haven't moisturized my body after a shower. Um, they've got some mirror merch. That's really cool. A little candle. And I think these are like little stickers similar to the ones that Etoile um, sent me that I put on my mirrors. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. Thank you so much. That actually smells so nice, this candle. Oh my God, it smells really fresh, but thank you so much, Breeze Balm. I can't wait to try. So these are the candles that I mentioned. They're from Flossy. So it's a small Australian business, but see how like small it is? It's kind of like maybe the size of my palm. I was wanting one maybe like that big. But still cute. Um, I really love that one. I don't think they're going to stay there because they're like all different colors. 10 minutes until the launch. I want to see how many people are online right now. I'm really feeling my skin recently. Like I actually just derma, is it derma pen? Is that the correct term? I use a little face razor. It's from Dreamy Skin to shave my face this morning. And then I put my skincare on over the top. Just feels so soft and yeah, makeup just sits so much nicer when your face has no bum fluff, which I had a lot of and I didn't realize. So love that for me. I'm just going to pretty much be in here monitoring the website and then we need to go grocery shopping. So I might just stay by my laptop for about an hour just in case something happens and then go to the shops, but I will update you guys. We are live! Oh my god, so exciting. We'll see how many people are on the website now that it's live. Just because it was on the password page for about an hour. Oh, I really hope everything is all good on the website. Because I went over it like 5,000 billion times. Um, okay, let me just have a look. There's already 58 orders. <laughs> And it's 3.03, what the fuck? Oh my goodness. 250 people on the website right now.
Hey guys, happy Saturday. I just went to Pilates. I just finished Reformer Pilates. It was actually cardio and I forgot again that I booked cardio. So it was actually a bit hard. Um, I just wanted to thank you all so much for shopping like the new arrivals yesterday. I think we got almost 200 orders. I think it was like 198, but I'm obviously still getting orders today. So thank you so much. I think that's pretty good considering I didn't even really do like a campaign or like a shoot for it. I literally took my own photos as you saw in my lounge room. Um, and yeah, I don't like, I am actually looking into putting up like sponsored ads and stuff on Facebook and Instagram because I know how beneficial that is for businesses and stuff like that. But I don't have any of that um, set up at the moment. Like it's literally just traffic from you guys basically like watching my videos, following me on Instagram, like that's how people, I guess, know about my brand. I just want to thank you guys. And I think that's a pretty good effort. The reason why I don't, I haven't invested into like Facebook ads and Instagram ads and all of that is because I can only manage so much. I do everything. I do customer service, packing, um, managing shipments, talking to the supplier, designing new designs like I am like it's literally me and then Peter obviously helps pack whenever I need help packing orders but it's just me and yeah like I feel like if I was to try and like bring in more sales by doing like ads on Facebook and Instagram it would just be so overwhelming for me I am looking into it though um and just getting quotes because obviously I don't know how to set it up so I'd obviously have to pay someone. I think when I'm in my own space, not in my spare room of my house, um, aka like a warehouse or even like not so much like a warehouse, just like a big office with two rooms, one for storage, one for packing. I can then look into getting some help um, to take some pressure off me so I can focus on other things like I feel like I've neglected my makeup page um, the past year, well, since I started business because it's hard. It's literally a full-time job. Um, and it's honestly impossible for me to run a business and then run two Instagram accounts. I'm already on YouTube. I'm not saying that this is a full-time job, but it does take quite a few hours to like film and edit every week. So I've got that commitment. And then obviously like I've got just me posting my general life on Instagram, which keeps you guys like entertained that's the reason why you guys are watching me right now. Um, and then I've got my makeup account, which I post like mainly like beauty and stuff, which I haven't, like I've had to decline so many like jobs, sponsored content, even with brands that I really like because I actually can't find the time. Like there's absolutely no way I'd be able to do it. So yeah, that's why I haven't really been as active on my makeup account. And I feel like it's weird if I just post the same thing on both accounts as in like my stories and stuff. I just feel like, I don't know, my followers on my fitness account, I don't know. They're just more interactive and they followed me from the start of like my weight loss journey and stuff like that. So I don't know why, but I feel more comfortable being like raw and real on my fitness account like rather than my makeup account I guess maybe because I've got more followers and I'm more exposed to like people like not hating but like people having something to say about like something that I do or like my makeup or something like that whereas I feel like I don't have any well I obviously get the the odd person that says something inappropriate or is uncalled for but um I don't really care about them but I get obviously more positive comments than negative comments anyways I'm rambling <laughs> in the car park but yeah that's like my plans for this year is just to take some like workload off of my hands and kindly give it to someone else especially with the business because yeah I just literally I can't do all three or four things in my life because <laughs> then I feel like I wouldn't have a life <laughs> Like, I feel like my whole life is just work, 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 work. Or if I'm, like, having downtime, all I think about is work. And it shouldn't be like that. I need to really, like, clock off, have some me time. I just need more time for myself, you know? So, yeah, that's the plans for this year. We're still looking at warehouses and stuff. We just haven't found the right one. Like, I want one relatively new. The ones that we've, like, found around, well, not really close, but, like, a decent distance from our home are a bit older um there's some being built but i don't think they'll be um finished until may what's the it's march april may 
two months. I don't know. Um, like, I, I'm not in any rush. Like, I don't want to rush into it just because. Like, I feel like I can still manage um, manage it on my own. But, yeah, it would be nice to have um, a space. Just more room, you know? Like, that room is just... It's getting a bit overcrowded. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to go home and have my breakfast. And pack the orders. Just got home, about to have my vitamins. I hate swallowing tablet. Ugh. Okay. That one tastes like something. <laughs> my bread just like popped up and landed. On the bench, okay. Last one. A close second last one. My eggs. Perfection. My avocado. Bit sad. I don't like the shepherd's ones, but oh well. They're actually from Peter's Nono's tree. Quite good. Okay, I'm gonna put my breakfast together. Okay, so I put on some every mite. I used to put Nutellix on, but then I don't know. I just stopped using that because it's like essentially fake butter. Um, so yeah, I don't have Nutellix anymore. My Avo. Also, I'm going to go to the shops today and buy some bananas, but apparently the new trend, well not new trend, but apparently avocado and banana on toast is nice. So I'm going to try it. Anything with avocado, I will try, even though that honestly sounds rank, <laughs> like banana and avo, what? I'm going to try it and I'll keep you in the loop. And that is my brekkie. I'm going to make a coffee now, actually. I totally forgot about that. All right, we got HelloFresh, but this is what we got from the shops. Some more eggs. This is the standard stuffed tortillas that we buy. They're literally so good, um, like macro-wise. And I just fill it with literally what's in the picture. Mints, spinach, tomato, onion. You can put a bit of feta on. So freaking yum. And they're really filling as well. And yeah, like locale. And then these are new pizza, not pizza pockets, tortilla pockets. So I might try them tonight or tomorrow. And they're the macros for them. Had to get these, cotton candy grapes, some Fropro. I'm gonna stop having the salted caramel ones because I've got dairy in it. So these ones are the plant-based ones. They're still really good. Chicken, because convenience. Steak. This is the enchilada sauce that we make with them. Also very good macros. And then I got these iced coffees. Normally I don't really like like almond milk iced coffees from the shops, but this is actually quite nice. It's not sweet, but I don't know. It's pretty good. So I'll probably get them again. Barramundi and some prawns. Hey guys, happy Sunday. Peter's just mowing the lawn. I just went and picked up one of my packages. Um, got some very annoying slash sad news. Mum's not going to be able to come. Why am I putting that on? Mum's not going to be able to come to Perth anymore because there was a COVID case in Brisbane, which is Queensland. And as of I think it was yesterday, all travellers from Queensland into WA have to self-quarantine for two weeks, which doesn't work because mum only had five days off work to come see me. She was meant to come here on Wednesday for five days, so that's annoying, and that's literally the third time we've had to reschedule her flights because COVID's happened. And I feel like I'm just bad luck because Riley had to... Um, when Riley was meant to come here, when we went to go on that brand trip, that was cancelled because of COVID. She was meant to come, I think, February, mum, and that was cancelled because I think WA had a COVID case or something. I'm just 
so annoyed like mum was so excited she sent me a photo of everything she was going to bring over she always makes like an easter tree and puts like um lint chocolate uh carrots on it and like decorates her house she's like she like loves easter um so yeah that's gonna be yeah it's just a bit annoying because i was like really looking forward to it not gonna get teary because peter's out there and i hate when he sees me upset but yeah it's just annoying like when is this just gonna stop go inside now and i need to go through that package i'm just about to finish packing the orders i think i've got about 58 to go um i just got that package of jewelry which actually came at an amazing time because i thought it was going to come tomorrow which is amazing so i can finish off um yeah i can finish off doing it before the delivery guy comes tomorrow morning a few questions when i um wore it like on my instagram story it's from C and M, Camilla and Mark, and I got it from David Jones on the Gold Coast in January. So I'm not sure if they would have it online, but yeah, it's like a really nice, like oversized top that I wear often. Um, also, I was inspired by an order that came through yesterday. She ordered two pendants on a necklace. How cute does that look? So I've got my Capricorn pendant with the key charm, like. That is just so freaking cute. And then that's the Antonia necklace, which I'm actually obsessed with. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys. Anyways, I'm going to go pack these orders and I will chat to you guys later. Hey guys, I'm just sitting here editing this vlog. I thought I would just end it here. I haven't really been up to much today. It's just been a bit sad because, yeah, mum was looking forward to coming so bad, but... That's all right. Hopefully she can get some time off for her birthday in June and like reschedule or like rebook her flights for then. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can make it to the Gold Coast without quarantining on the way back for Barker's 80th in May. So fingers crossed I get good luck for around that time. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.